Let's learn about figuring out a percent of a number using mental math. Here's a couple of problems. 25% of 40, 25% of 64. Remember, we're just going to divide by 4. 40 divided by 4 is 10. So 25% of 40 is just 10. 25% of 64, we have 64 over 4. And that there is... 16. This is what I was saying. 75% then of 64, we would look at three of those 16s, which would be 16 times 3, which equals 48. So the part of that is to recognize as to what to do when you're faced with percentages like 25%. This even works for 50% then, if we think about that there and 75%. Like I was saying, 50% of 90, 50% is 50 over 100, which equals 1 over 2, which equals 1 half. So basically we're taking 1 half of 90, so we're just taking 90 and we're dividing by 2. 90 dividing by 2, so we're dividing by 2. 50% divide by 2. So if something is half off at the store, you just divide by 2, and you would figure out as to how much you would pay. 50% of 90, then, is 45. Again, if you have to set that up to be able to solve it, do set it up and solve it. Okay, it's time for you to go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and figure out 25% of 60 and 50% of 84. Hit pause. Twenty-five percent of sixty is just sixty divided by four, which equals fifteen. Fifty percent of eighty-four is eighty-four divided by two, which equals forty-two. Pat yourself on the back. Remember, twenty-five percent divide by four. Fifty percent just divide by two. If we had figured out seventy-five percent of sixty, we could have figured out twenty-five percent of 60 first, divided by 4, and then just multiplied by 3 at that point because we were looking at 75%. 15 times 3, which equals 45. Here we have a different type of percentage problem where we're t dealing with 10%. And then so when we're working with 10%, 10% again is 10 over 100, which can be rewritten as 1 tenth. It's an equivalent fraction for it. Now, if we're saying one-tenth of 90, that would be one-tenth times 90, right? And then, so basically what we're doing is, since we're only looking at one of those parts, we're saying, hey, divide by 10. So we have 90 divided by 10. In this case here, when we're dividing by 10, we can just move the decimal place. We know that 90 divided by 10 is 9, right? But we can move the decimal place. So the decimal place for 90 would be right there. 90 could be rewritten as 90.0. And in this case, since we are dividing, we will move that decimal place over one digit to the left. And that's why it's 9.00, which equals 9. Similarly, I could have 10% of 86, so it's 86 divided by 10. And then so I take 86 there, rewrite it as 86.0 so I can see that decimal place. And I move that decimal place one digit over to the left. And then so my answer is, what? 8.6. That's mental math there. One digit over to the left. That's it. Divide by 10. Here's my division to support what it is that I'm doing. 86 divided by 10. 8 times 10 is 80. 
add a zero to bring down a zero. 60 divided by 10 is 6. 6 times 10 is 60. 60 minus 60 is 0. And I really probably should not have had that decimal point there because one decimal place, no decimal places, place my decimal point within my answer there. So that's the reasoning as to why it is that I can just go ahead and move a decimal place. And then so 10%, think of divide by 10. 8.6, think of moving that decimal place one place over to the left. Here are two problems for you. 10% of 40, 10% of 82. Please write out the complete problem and then write out your solution. Remember, we're dividing by 10, 10%. Hit pause. All right, for that first problem, remember that is 40 divided by 10. Move that decimal place one place over to the left. 40 divided by 10 is 4 then. 10% of 82, much the same way. 82 divided by 10, one decimal place, 8.2. You notice that I showed my work there, so I know my approach. I know what it is that I'm doing to figure out this and each of these here. So if you did not show your work there and you just wrote down a number, show your work, please, so that you remember. You can look back on this and be like, oh, yeah, that's what it is that you do. And this was the reasoning behind it. One-tenth of 82. Remember, divide by 10 there. All right, here's your review. 50%, 50%. What do we do? We divide by what? 50% of a number, we divide by what? We divide by 2. When we're figuring out 25% of a number, we divide by what? 4. And when we're figuring out 10% of a number, we divide by what? Right, 10. Repeat again, 25%, you divide by 4. 10% divide by 10, and 50% you divide by 2. If you forget that, you could always figure that out again. 51 hundredths, divide by 50, divide by 50, equals 1 half. There's your divide by 2 there. Or 25%, 1 quarter. 1 quarter. 25 over 100, which does equal 1 quarter. So you could, if you got stuck, figure that out. Divide by 10. And then so by recognizing those, it just makes math a little bit simpler and the math a little bit easier. And then so if you went to the store and you saw that some thing, you only, you get 25% off and to figure out your discount, for instance, you could just be like, oh, I remember that. 25% is, say, $60. You want to buy that video game. It costs $60. But, hey, mom, it's on sale. We get 25% off. Instead of saying 25% off, hey, mom, we can save this amount of money. It'd be 25% of $60. You just divide $60 by 4. So that goes in. You get $15 off. You get a $15 discount. Mom, we can get a $15 discount. We only have to pay $45 today instead of paying $60. $60. Maybe she'll be so impressed with math that she'll say, oh, yeah, 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 let's go ahead and get it. Good luck. Percents of numbers.